Good Wednesday evening to you. It is uh, the edition of Weather for Weather Geeks here on the 20th day of April 2022. A transitional day today. We have much better things coming our way towards the weekend. We're emerging from an unseasonably chilly and, frankly, snowy pattern early this week. The snow did not amount to much locally, but we had snowflakes in the air both Monday and Tuesday. But it's been an unsettled stretch, and it's nice to put a zero on the board today. No measurable precipitation at the Youngstown Warren Airport today. We haven't said that many times this April. One, two, three, four, what, six days with no precipitation this month out of 20. So we've had 14 days with at least a uh, uh, hundredth of an inch worth of precipitation. Some of these zeros, technically we had some trace amounts of precipitation those days, but they show up as zero on our graphic here. Uh, in other words, that's not measurable. Measurable precipitation starts at 0 0.01 or a hundredth of an inch. Anyway, uh, it is a little bit surprising that we are still running below average at the airport, 0.15 inches shy of average. We've had frequent wet weather this month, but it's been pretty light. And while rainfall totals have varied across the area, where we uh, get our official weather records for our television viewing area, the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna, 2.38 is how much we've had so far this month, and that is, again, about 0.15 inches shy of the average. So that's uh, total precipitation for April. What about for the year so far? Year to date, we're running a surplus, 2.74 inches above average here locally. The number is even higher out towards Akron. Uh, just about all of the climate sites across the region are in the plus category for uh, season or a year to date precipitation. It gets a little bit drier once you're out in Northwest Ohio into Southeastern Michigan around Detroit and Toledo. In the snow department this April, well, we picked up 0.3 Monday, 0.7 yesterday at the airport. That brings our monthly total to 2.5 inches worth of snow, and that's a little bit above average. Now, April, of course, is not typically one of our uh, snowier months, but uh, we do typically see at least a little bit of snow in the month of April, and that's come to fruition. We've had four days with measurable snowfall this month. Season to date snow totals across the area, we are running behind 6.7 inches shy of average for the season to date. And unless we have some sort of real late season uh, big surprise, uh, we're going to probably finish the season uh, below average in terms of uh, seasonal snow. And if you remember from ages ago, our winter forecast back in late October, early November did call for uh, somewhat below average snowfall totals for the season, even though total precipitation was likely to be above average. And we saw that in the winter. We had above average precipitation over the winter, but looks like we're gonna end up in the uh, below average category in terms of snowfall. Here's our high resolution uh, satellite picture from today. A few cirrus clouds pushing in. And then this, of course, over here in Northwest PA into Southwest New York, this is snow on the ground. Um, this is north and east of our viewing area, but snow is on the ground in Erie and up towards Jamestown, New York, Bradford, down towards Dubois along I-80, out towards Clearfield, State College, Altoona, Johnstown, all of those central PA locations had at least a few inches worth of snow yesterday. In fact, up to a foot of snow fell in parts of northeastern Pennsylvania and into parts of central and eastern New York State. So as I mentioned yesterday, it could always be worse. We didn't have great weather here locally, but at least we did not have a foot of snow yesterday. All right, a little green on the radar this evening. This is Virga precipitation evaporating before reaching the ground. The air is pretty dry down here in the low levels. Uh, but this rain will make it down to the ground as the atmosphere saturates later on tonight. I'm expecting showers to uh, become more and more common as we head towards daybreak tomorrow. A lot of us are tired of the rainy weather, but we're going to be dealing with it again on Thursday, especially for early risers. As you head off to work and school in the morning, steadiest of the rain, 6, 7, 8 a.m. I think beyond that, it becomes more intermittent and light, and the last of the spotty shower activity should be about out of here by midday, early afternoon. It won't be a lot of rain, uh, kind of the theme of April. Frequent rain, but not real heavy rain, about a quarter of an inch worth of rain advertised on our modeling over the next 24 hours. Hours. So again, wet start to the day Thursday in the afternoon. Uh, from west to east, the sky should try to clear. I think it'll be a pretty decent end to the day with temperatures in the lower 60s. And then here comes our strong warm front at the end of the week. Most of Friday will be dry, although clouds can increase in the afternoon. Maybe a late day shower, but showers are probably a little more likely overnight Friday night as our warm front makes its crossing of eastern Ohio and western PA. And notice the clock here Saturday morning. Not going to be surprised if we have one or two more showers still lingering at the start of the day. But this is going to be early in the day, and if you have outdoor plans Saturday afternoon, 
are doing just fine. Sunday looks absolutely fantastic as well. We have 82 in our forecast for Sunday. Uh, it has been a long time. In fact, it has been 187 days. Uh, I'm not sure why some of my text got cut off here, but 187 days since the last 80 degree temperature in Youngstown at the airport. It was on uh, October 15th, 2021. We had 81 degrees. So a little over six months since we've had an 80 degree temperature, but we will have one, it looks like, on Sunday. As you know by now, if you've been paying attention to my forecast over the last few days, we've got a big cool down coming next week after our summer-like weekend. We'll have a day probably next Wednesday, a week from today, where high temperatures are only in the upper 40s. Ugh, that's, that's pretty grisly stuff for the end of April. But it will be accompanied by largely dry weather, it looks like, during that last stretch of April. So while not, it will not be warm, uh, it looks like it will not be accompanied by all that much precipitation. Now, uh, could we have a situation in which we get nickel and dimed a little bit with some pesky light precipitation at times, kind of like we've had in April? Yeah, it's possible. But uh, it does not look like any sort of real excessively wet pattern, even though it will be chilly at the end of the month. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Wednesday evening. Uh, tune in on Thursday for an updated weekend forecast and a, a look at next week, and we'll have a fresh run of the uh, long-range European modeling to uh, look at. We're going to be looking for any sorts of clues or signs that uh, this pattern that will settle in next week uh, will not have a huge amount of staying power. We're hoping that some of the modeling comes in a little warmer for May, but uh, as of right now, I'm not real optimistic about at least the first 10 days of the month. But again, more long-range thoughts tomorrow on Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you then.